Hey guys, this is Dr. Tim here with Optimize Wellness Center. This is Ozone, O3. So today we're going to talk about one of the applications of ozone that we use here at Optimize Wellness Center. There are various ways to be able to use ozone, but we're going to talk about one of those applications today. Ozone, by the way, again, that's O3 by contrast of O2, which is oxygen, has been around and utilized since 1890 with Nikola Tesla. You know the Tesla cars? Not running on ozone. But this three atom oxygen molecule is very unstable. It does not want to stay like this. It wants to actually remove one of those and become O2 oxygen and then release that one. That one atom that breaks off, that singular atom here, it actually is so reactive and it can poke holes in membranes and it will kill it, bacteria, viruses, pathogens. It does not discriminate. It will just knock all of them out of the way. Now, even though it's been around since the 1890s, in the 1900s, in clinical settings, this fell out of favor because of uh, the introduction of antibiotics. That's a whole other story, which we'll get to another day. But this is actually 300 times, 300 times, just like there are three atoms here, 300 times more effective than chlorine or bleach. Now, because it's so effective, it can kill superbugs. And so think about hospital or clinical or medical settings where there may be superbugs in that environment, which are really challenging and hard to be able to remove. Well, having something like this can be really effective at doing this. But anything that breathes, people, plants, and pets, we've got to remove those because it can be really irritating to the lungs as well as to the eyes. So if you're ever in an environment where you have ozone around you, even if it's temporary, you should be wearing a proper mask here to be able to make sure that you are removing some of that ozone so that you can breathe properly. But generally, you should just not be in that environment. And so this is one of the ozone devices that we have here. And I'm going to show you this guy for just a second here. And so this guy... Actually, we can turn this on and it has a fan and it's going to blow air uh, over this and then it's going to push the ozone on the back side here. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually clean the air in this environment. So sometimes when we have someone who's moving into a new home and there's lots of chemicals in the paints or the, the carpet or maybe after a fire where there's smoke and other residues in the area or if someone's been sick, can you imagine that? Someone gets sick and they might be aerosolizing some other kinds of bacteria or viruses or other pathogens. Well, we can remove those and kill them with this ozone device here. So I'm going to show you that right now. And we're going to get ready to turn this on. And then all it is for this device is we're going to turn this on. Can you hear the fan turning up? And that is blowing ozone. Hey, guys, we got to get out of here. People, plants, and pets, we got to go. All right, see you later, guys.